plays a good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next edition of the grittiest take as we go into our Philadelphia Flyers giving the main Mariners president, Daniel Briere, a full-time job after they did very well with the job she's been doing with the Flyers while also running the Maine Mariners and also a very good job at running the Maine Mariners. Before I get fully into it, please continue to subscribe down below to help us get to 200 or up above in the easy to use widget by the end of February. I really immensely appreciate you all for the subscribe, for subscribing, excuse me. Um, so let's get right into it. Philly named Danny Breyer the assistant to the general manager, but uh, he seems to have... Um, more roles than, at least to the naked eye, than it seems most assistants the general manager would be. I might be wrong on that, but to the naked eye, um, it seems like he's going to be very involved. Because it says he'll be involved in all aspects of the club's hockey operations, including scouting and player development. He joins the Flyers operations staff after parts of five years with the Maine Mariners, most recently, of course, as their team president. Um, so Daniel Bria worked his way up going to a team owned by Comcast Spectre, for people that don't know, in the Maine Mariners. Uh, that's all the way back from when Ed Schneider uh, owned the Maine Mariners and actually had a house that resided in Maine um, in order to keep a gauge on kind of the, the what was going on with the fans there and all that stuff, which was very, very loyal to Ed, who was loyal to all his teams, as we all know. Um, but... When it comes to Daniel Briere, his quote was, I'm excited for this new opportunity to join the Flyers Hockey Operations Department. Philadelphia is a place that I've called home for a long time and have had some of my most memorable moments in my career. I want to thank Chuck Fletcher and Dave Scott for their confidence and support over the last several years, and I look forward to helping them continue to build a successful team on and off the ice. And then he also, I can't remember the exact quote, but said that the team isn't as bad as it looks on paper this year. They're just having a bad season or something like that that Jamie Baskow tweeted out. Uh, that Danny Breer said after his hire. Um, I think this is a really good move. I understand some people are going to kind of damn it because it's another guy that has a close relation to the franchise. But um, th I think Breer, though, is a guy that was re that's a very smart hockey operations folk. He worked his way up with the Maine Mariners, and the Montreal Canadiens almost picked him. He was right down to the finalist as a general manager, and likely has a chance to be a general manager in this league someday, maybe even so for the Philadelphia Flyers, uh, if, Ch if Chuck Fletcher in the next couple of years or year doesn't uh, cut it like Dave Scott wants him to. Um, I know, obviously, the organization is not going to say this, but personally, I feel like the Danny Breer hire, who's a very up-and-coming exec that's not just been mentioned with Montreal, but other jobs in the past, um is a guy that they brought in to try to put some pressure on Fletcher and um, the, and his guys that were there before in order to basically um, show, like, tell them, like, this is, like, the, this is the time now. I don't want to be a full rebuild. Dave Scott basically made that clear in the press conference. He wants it to be a retool that could be fairly quick. And I think the Breer move also was to put some pressure on Chuck Fletcher in that sense. But from a perspective of just hiring Danny Breer, I think it's an immensely great move. I think he's a very smart hockey mind. He's one of my favorite players from the Flyers. Still have uh, his shirts and his stuff um, hanging up. I have an autographed puck of Daniel Breer. He's one of my favorite guys um, that has played for our franchise. And is, of course, a legend with the Sabres as well. Sabres fans love Danny B as well. So I think it's a very good hire. I think he's going to do great things for this team. And I think someday... If Chuck Fletcher doesn't figure this out in the next year or maybe two years at most, he will, if he's not poached from someone else in that time frame, be the general manager of the Philadelphia Flyers. And again, that's if Chuck Fletcher doesn't figure it out. That's not me telling you I think he's not going to figure it out. That's if he doesn't. I think Daniel Briere in due time is here to put pressure on Fletcher. Therefore, he will be the general manager in due time if Fletcher doesn't get done what Dave Scott uh, wants to get done, even though he expressed so much confidence in him. I think part of that's also political when he did that in the press conference. But if he doesn't get done in the next year or so, year and a half, and the attendance keeps going down, Dave's going to make a move. But everybody have a great team and pleasant day. Please continue to subscribe down below on the easy to use sub button or up above on the easy to use widget to help us grow to 200 by the end of February. Really appreciate you all again for subbing. Stay safe out there and enjoy the hockey.